Okay guys, something's biting my hook again. I wonder if, I mean, it didn't feel like anything big. It's either a baby piranha or small catfish. Nothing very interesting, but let's see if it bites again, maybe some compromise. Oh yes, there we go, fish on. What did I, what do I have? Oh yeah, baby catfish. Just what I thought. I mean, this is not a baby catfish. This is a, actually a full grown adult for this species. But it's a small species. They don't grow anything bigger, any bigger than this. Look at that. Mr. Singing, we call these guys singing catfish because they usually make noises when out of the water. Although right now this one is Pretty quiet. The species for this is Pimelodella gracilis. It's very cute. They're, they make very good bait, actually. But this spot doesn't usually hold any big fish. And honestly, I don't feel like. Yes, it's making noises now. Do you hear it? Honestly, I don't feel like. Like changing my rigs today so I'm not gonna try any any bigger fish fishing look at the glitter and the shimmer of this fish they're very beautiful one of the most beautiful catfishes you can get in here all right there it goes I catch them all the time it's not really not really worth a picture let's see if I can get something else I mean if they they are hanging around here there may be some Bigger catfish. The camera was off, so I couldn't get the bite on camera, but I had something. And another one of these. <laughs> another little singing catfish. I guess it's gonna be a singing catfish afternoon. Looks like that spot is full of them. But, ouch! Yeah, they may be small, but the fins still can hurt you. I'm gonna let it go. Ouch. There we go, there we go. Oh, that's something bigger. That really feels bigger. Oh, what did I get? Oh, that's a piranha. That's a, oh, there, there we go. This is a Serrasalmus marginatus. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful little piranha. That's a gorgeous specimen. Look at the red, the red fin. So red. That's a really pretty specimen. I love it when they're colorful like that. All right, Mr. Marginatus. Oh. It's fine. Time to go. Whoop. There we go. There we go. That's a fish. That's a fish. What did I get? Oh. <laughs> Another one of these. Little singing catfishes. Okay, this one likes to sing. This one really likes to sing, so that's where they get their names from. Look at that. 
little catfish. And back he goes. As I had the camera off during the bite, that was very quick. Oh, now that's something slightly better. This is Ileringictis labrosus. Oh man, this is the most nasty catfish to deal with because they're they they jump a lot, they move a lot, and their their fins are serrated. So you really want to be as careful. I mean, you really want to be very careful with these. They're very pretty fish, but they're difficult to deal with because they really shake a lot. Look at that. They shake a lot and they're difficult to handle. I'm gonna use this lip grip. No, I can't use it. gonna make it easier yeah there it goes look at that beautiful beautiful catfish Ileringictis labrosus I'm gonna take a little picture and then go for the release all right buddy I'll let you go. Yeah, there it goes. It's a healthy, healthy little cat. There we go. Oh man, that's something big. That feels quite heavy. That's a good catfish. That is a good catfish. Oh, look at that. Oh man, it's very swallowed. <laughs> That's a noisy little catfish. This is um, Platidoras armatulus, also known as striped Raphael catfish. This is a species of thorny catfish. Oh man, that's very swallowed. So this is gonna be a problem to deal with. I'm gonna use my my grip to hold it. Look at that, this is a beautiful specimen. This is the biggest, the biggest Raphael catfish that I've caught, actually. It's a very good, very good size. I've never caught one this big. This is my PB for this species. I, I don't think they grow any bigger than this. That's a gorgeous little catfish. Okay, I'm, I need my pliers. I'm gonna need my pliers to try and take out the hook, because that thing is deep. He's out. I took the hook out. It took me a while. I had to put it in the water again many, many times. So I'm gonna let this guy go. Hopefully, he's gonna be okay. Okay, he swim, swam back. Okay, I think he's gonna be fine. Cool. That makes it for species number four of today. A striped Raphael catfish, and not not any striped Raphael catfish for actually my PB. So that was pretty cool. Very beautiful fish. Hope it's gonna be okay. I got something good. I got something good on the hook. That feels like something different and interesting. Oh no, another another one of those striped Raphael catfish. They're so annoying, man. <laughs> I mean, they're cool to catch, but I wanted something different. I was really hoping for something different, but a catch is a catch, I guess. I'm gonna use two pliers, one to hold it from the... <laughs> That's a noisy little, little bastard. <laughs> I'm gonna use one to hold it from the dorsal fin, and the other one to... Oh, maybe I can just remove the hook with my, ma with my hand. No, I'm gonna need a... the other set of pliers to get that out.
Okay. So, hook is out. Funny thing with these guys is that instead of stabbing you with their fins, what they do is they press it. They press the fins against their bodies if you put your finger underneath. Which can, it's not too, too painful. It's actually just a little annoying because it's difficult to get it out. But they're very strong. They're actually very strong fish. And they stay still, so you can actually hold them in your in your on your hands like this, and makes for for a cool picture. I'm gonna take a little picture of this and then release it. It's already getting dark, so this is probably gonna be the last fish for this session. All right, buddy, free to go.